Hi, my name is Nargis. This video is all about how to create a grid image gallery in pure CSS. The images are in different sizes but will be displayed in a square shape in all screen sizes without setting the fixed height and width. Here is the demo of what, uh, what we would create at the end of this video. And as you can see, as I resize the screen, uh, the image will be displayed in a square shape. Alright, to start, let's see what we have in our uh, folder. Here we have an uh, HTML document that we will put our HTML here, a style file for putting our styles and images folder that contains our images. First, I create a div with a class name of gallery for wrapping our items. Inside that, I use figure tag for uh, holding my image and um, I add a class and I want to have 32 of this. Inside that, I have an image file and add a class name For those uh, who don't know, I use Emma to uh, creating my markup. Okay, let's see the result. Here is our images and as you can see, they are in different sizes and they are in the square. And in the next step, I want to remove the white spaces. So I set margin and padding for all elements to zero. And next, I want to set the display of the wrapper to flex for putting the items next to each other and the flex flew to wrap to specify that uh, flexible items should be wrapped. Just for now, I hide the images for creating uh, our square box. And here I set the flexible bits for my image container. So set the flex glue to one and a min width to 150 pixels. And set a light gray for background and a border for seeing the result better. And for creating the square box, I use the before pseudo. So here I set the content to empty and a padding top, top to 100% and a display to block. And here is the result. Now we have a score boxes that will keep the width and height ratio when I resize the screen. Now I set the image display to block again and here is the result. And the next step I set the position of the images to absolute and top property to zero and set back proper uh, position of the parent to relative. Okay, and set the width and height of each image to 100%. And now as you can see, because the image's aspect ratio doesn't match the containers aspect ratio, they will be stretched to fit. for. Solving this pro uh, problem, I use object fit. What it does is resize the image to fit its container it's, and it accepts different values. But here I set it to cover. By using the cover uh, value, the image keeps its 
aspect ratio and fill the given dimension uh, and here is the result it looks better and uh, we also can use object position to specify um, how the image should be positioned within the container to like better and to look better and I set it to center okay and here is the final result and as I resize the screen the images uh, look uh, awesome and now we have a fully responsive gallery I hope uh, you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making this and if you have any question feel free to ask